Hey guys, today we are going to look at solving multi-step equations with variables on both sides. We're going to answer the question, how do we solve equations with variables on both sides and like terms and the distributive property. So the first thing that you want to do is simplify both expressions on each side of the equal sign. We're going to check that both of those are simplified and we'll do this by distributing to clear any parentheses and then combine like terms that are on the same side of the equal sign. Then after that, we will move the variables to the same side of the equation by adding or subtracting the smaller variable. You can move the larger variable. It really does not matter which one you use. I like to move the smaller one because that usually leads to less negative numbers, but you could move the bigger one if you want. And then after that, it is going to be a two step equation. So you will add or subtract to remove the constant and then multiply or divide to remove the coefficient. And here is a phrase that can help you remember the steps to solving multi-step equations. Don't call me after midnight. So you wanna distribute first, combine like terms, then move your variables to the same side, and then add or subtract and multiply or divide. So let's look at number one. I want to look at each side separately first and simplify each side. So let's look at this 11x plus two minus two x. I can combine like terms to simplify that. So 11x minus two x is nine x. And then I'm just gonna bring down the plus two and it'll equal this side is already simplified because 16 plus 2x are not like terms. Okay, now I have variables on both sides of the equal sign and I need to move them to the same side. So I'm gonna move the smaller one. The smaller one here is 2x. Again, you could move the 9x, but it's gonna be less negatives if I move the 2x. So ask yourself, how do you make a zero with a positive 2x by subtracting 2x from both sides? And 9x minus 2x is 7x. And then I'm going to bring down the plus 2. And it equals 16 because this 2x minus 2x zeroes out. All right, now this is just a two-step equation. So I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. And I get 7x equals 14. And then I'm going to divide by 7. And I get x equals 2. All right, let's look at number two. So we want to look at each side separately. Let's look at this side first. I can combine it like terms. That 37 will combine with the plus five. And 37 plus five is 42. And then I'm gonna bring down the 12x. And it equals, on this side of the equation, I can combine those negative 20s, the constants again. And negative 20 minus 20 is negative 40. And then I'm going to bring down the minus 8.5x. Okay, now I have variables on both sides of the equal sign. I want to move them to the same side. I'm going to move the smaller one, which is negative 8.5. And I want to make a zero with negative 8.5. So I'm going to add 8.5x to both sides. And I get 42, and then 12x plus 8.5x is 20.5x equals negative 40. And then I'm going to subtract 42 to remove the constant. And I get 20.5x equals negative 82. And then I'm going to divide by 20.5. And negative 82 divided by 20.5 is negative 4. So x equals negative 4. All right, on number 3, I have fractions. I'm still going to do the same process here. Look at one side at a time. So 6 plus 2 thirds x those are not like terms. I can't simplify that any further. So I'm just going to rewrite that part of the equation. 
All right, now let's look at the right side of the equation. Negative 2 fifths x plus 21 minus 3 fifths x. I can combine the negative 2 fifths x minus 3 fifths x. And negative 2 fifths minus 3 fifths. Those are common denominators, so I can just combine the numerators to make negative 5 over 5. And negative 5 over 5 is negative 1. So negative 2 fifths x minus 3 fifths x just becomes negative 1x or negative x. And then I'm going to add 21, bring down that 21. All right, now I have variables on both sides, 2 thirds x and negative x. Negative x is smaller. So I'm going to add x to both sides. So I'm gonna think of this one x is the same as three over three x. Just help with those common denominators to add. So I'm gonna bring down the six and then two thirds x plus three over three x or one x is five thirds x. And it equals negative x plus x simplifies out and then it equals 21. And now I'm gonna subtract six from both sides and I get, come up here, 5 thirds x equals 21 minus 6 is 15. Okay, now I have a fraction coefficient. So I want to divide by 5 thirds. Dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 fifths because 3 fifths times 5 thirds would be 1, which is what we want that coefficient of x to be. So that simplifies out to one. So I just get x by itself and it'll equal whatever 15 times 3 fifths is. So 15 times three is 45 and then 45 over five is nine. So x equals nine. Okay, let's look at number four. I have some parentheses, so I need to do the distributive property. We're still gonna look at each side separately first. We're gonna think of this as two expressions first. So I'm gonna distribute the five to the numbers inside the parentheses, and I get five x plus 15, and then just bring down the plus three, and it'll equal three times x is three x, three times negative two is negative six. Okay, I'm still not simplified on the left side yet. I need to combine this 15 and three. So the left side simplified would be five x plus 18 equals three x minus six. Now I have variables on both sides. I'm gonna move them to the same side by subtracting three x to make a zero with that positive three x. And I get 2x plus 18 equals negative 6. All right, next step, I'm going to subtract 18 from both sides. And I get 2x equals negative 6 minus 18 is negative 24. And then the last step is just to divide by 2. So x is negative 12. All right, let's look at number five. I have parentheses on both sides, so I'm going to need to distribute. So 1.2 times x is 1.2x. 1 1.2 times negative two is negative 2.4. Equals two times one is two. Two times negative 0.5 is negative x. Now I have variables on both sides. The smaller one is negative x, so I'm gonna move that to the other side by adding x to both sides. And 1.2x plus x or 1x is 2.2x. And then I'm gonna bring down the minus 2.4 and it equals two. And now I'm gonna add 2.4 to both sides. and I get 2.2x equals 4.4, and then I'm gonna divide by 2.2, and I get x equals two. All right, number six. 
So there are a couple of different ways that we could solve this one. I have one half that I could distribute here, but that's gonna create a funky number, at least with the three, that would be three halves. And then I have X divided by two. I want you to notice something similar here. This whole side of the equation is being multiplied by a denominator of two. And then it's the same thing here. This whole side of the equation has a denominator of two. So what I'm gonna do is multiply both sides of the equation by two to get rid of that denominator. And the reason we could do that is because the entire left side and the entire right side were being multiplied by a denominator of two or had that denominator of two. So when I do that, I'm just left with one on this side, which when I distribute a one, it's not gonna affect anything. So I basically just drop the parentheses there and I'm left with three X minus two. And then X divided by two times two is just X. Okay, so like I told you, we usually want to move the smaller variable, but if I do that here, then there's gonna be nothing left on the right side of the equation. So this time instead, I'm going to subtract three X from both sides. And now I'm gonna have the constants on one side, the negative two on one side, and then the X is on the other. X minus three X is negative two X. And then my last step is to divide by negative two. Negative two divided by negative two is one. So X equals one. So there are lots of different ways to solve this equation. You could have distributed, you could have changed this to a one half X, um, but I chose it to do it this way first.